I need to get some distance. Ah, jeez, I did it again. Oh no, I'm gonna die. What's going on, everyone? My name is Impulse, and welcome back to Hermitcraft. Today's an exciting day. I, I know I started in the nether, which is unusual for me, but today's an exciting day. I want to show you this. I'm going to hit F3 and 119. That is right. Hermitcraft has officially updated the server finally to 119. I know a lot of you are thinking it's been it's it's been out for over a month. What took you so long? Well, we had to wait for some of the mods and stuff we use here on the server to be updated, and we have them now, which you can see one of these is uh, the better F3 screen, which looks pretty good. Anyway, that's done, and I'm excited today because we're going to be doing some exploring of 119, and uh, I want to get some blocks for the hermits that I know they're going to be wanting. And also, I wanted to show you this. It looks like Pearl has been doing some work here in the nether on the tunnel here to the soup group, which is amazing. Hopefully we'll get together soon and do some 119 stuff as well. But Gem Impulse Pearl, if you're not familiar with who the soup group is, and look at this amazing tunnel that Pearl has done. She has found a way to like take all the styles of the three, our three different bases and like put it into this tunnel. It's amazing. So this portal will go to gems. And down here, of course, you can see the gold accurately represented. I have my portal here to my base. And then if we go up here, we have the portal to Pearl's base. And it looks like she's got a little mini Easter egg thing sitting there. I kind of like that idea. Maybe we can fit ours down here as well. Let's see if we can find a good spot. Oh yeah, right there is gonna be good. Now, a few weeks ago, it would have been really tough for me to find that Easter egg, but now that I've got my sorting system done, I would assume it's in this. Yep. Oh, it is so nice having things sorted out. And I will also need an item frame, which knowing me would be in the miscellaneous wood chest. Yep, there we go. Okay. All right, this should work. I think we'll have them facing the portal. And of course we could do the trigger if invisible and get rid of the item frame. Aha. Oh, that is so perfect. So last episode, we made two farms, one to get blaze rods and one to get popped chorus fruit just so that we could make some of these, these end rods. And that is because we want to continue filling out all the product inside Illuminate. And I thought, you know what? Now that we've updated to 119, it might be smart to get right after the new lights that are in 119. I think the hermits are really going to want to get their hands on the frog lights. So that means we got to we got to do a couple things. One, we need to find a mangrove swamp and find some frogs, breed them up, grab the tadpoles, go to three different climates in the world and let the frogs grow up and then get those frogs over to a magma cube spawner and be able to break those down into the small ones and let the frogs eat them and poop out the frog lights. That's that's a lot of effort and that's exactly what we're going to do today. So the first thing we need to do is find chunks that have not been loaded before we went to 119. And that's the reason why we have the southern border wall is so that once 119 came out, we could take that down and everything to the south of that wall will be new 119 terrain. But we haven't done that just yet. So instead, I'm going to travel through the nether thousands of blocks until I'm pretty sure we're going to hit land that nobody's explored just yet. And while I'm at it, since I'm specifically looking for a mangrove swamp, I'm going to use an app online called Chunk Base, where we can put in the seed, locate the biome, and then we'll know exactly where we can find it. After some coordinate calculations, we pop down a portal in the nether, and as we go through, mangrove swamp on the other side. Perfect. Now I just need to get some slime balls and breed up some of these frogs that are here and they will lay the tadpole eggs. Once those hatch, just need to snatch up the tadpoles in a bucket and now we have portable frogs. Well, tadpoles. So I've brought the tadpoles back to our industrial district, which is a plains biome. And that means that when these tadpoles grow up, they're going to end up being the temperate type of frog. So that's one of the three frogs that we need. The other two are cold and warm. So we're going to have to find two other biomes that are either cold or warm biomes and have the same thing happen with tadpoles growing up. So this might take a little bit of time. I'm actually not sure how long it takes for a tadpole to turn into a frog. OK, so I consulted the wiki and it says 20 minutes, which is pretty typical for animals to grow up in Minecraft. And while we're waiting, I think I'll harvest some mangrove trees because these things are pretty cool. Oh, one of them grew up already. Nice. Uh oh, <laughs> I think we better make sure we're holding some slime so it doesn't go far. 
There we go, second one's grown up. And I think what we'll do is we'll just breed them again right now to get even more tadpoles. All right, and if we come over into the snowy slopes just by our spawn, this should spawn a cold frog once the tadpoles grow up. And we gotta put a little roof on this so the ice doesn't freeze over, of course. And for whatever reason, zombies keep coming out and trying to attack me. All right, we'll just drop two in here and we'll hang out for a bit. Maybe I'll go see where these zombies are coming from. Yep. There they are. Success. We've now got two of the cold climate ones, and I think I'll do the same thing so that we can leave some tadpoles behind. And I guess I better secure them here for a little bit until I can decide how to get them all through the nether. And finally, we need to put these last ones in a warm biome, so we're out at the desert. And now we wait. And our warm climate frogs have grown up, and now I need to do the tedious task of preparing a safe path through the nether all the way out to a bastion where there's a magma cube spawner, which I need to find still. And then I need to get all the frogs from the three different locations all the way over to that bastion. Um, <laughs> okay, this might take a bit. All right, I got everything prepared in the nether. It is now time to try to get them above the bedrock ceiling and transported over to a bastion that's actually near my double blaze farm and has a magma spawner in it so yeah we gotta get them all the way over there so this is gonna be tedious and um probably hopefully i don't lose any frogs in the process all right first frog is away and hopefully we can get this guy too there we go grabbed him and up he goes and down he goes uh oh <laughs> that's not good all right let's see if we can break him out of the cart and then put a lead on them and hopefully pull them up the scaffolding to above the ceiling. Let's see if they'll follow me up this. Come on, guys. Come on. Up we go. Here we go. You can do it. Just use your jumping abilities. You're supposed to be good at that, right? There we go. Maybe if I go a little higher on the scaffolding, it'll pull them up. I think we did it. Uh-oh. We only have one. Oh, there he is. He made it. All right, first two have made it to the roof of, this, of the nether here. Uh, I have to do that two more times. When the squad hops into town, what is that? Get each frog variant on a lead. Okay, okay. <laughs> nice. All right, I've got all the frogs in and under the ceiling now, and I put each one of them into a boat because we need to drop down safely somehow onto this bastion below us. But before we can take the frogs in, the bastion is, um, it's, it's currently occupied. There's, there's some bad dudes in there. And I think we're gonna have to go through and clear this place out of all that sadness before we attempt to bring those frogs in. So yeah, this will be fun. Oh gosh. Hello. Oh, bye. <laughs> Oh, man, he survived that. Oh, there's two of them. Ooh. Hello. Having a good talk? Oops. And with Bastion cleared of all piglin brutes, it's time to build a frog light farm. All right, going for a ride. Here we go. Woo! Frog number one made it safe and sound. Perfect. And the frog light farm is done. It is so fun watching these little guys go around and take out these magma cubes and 
poop out the little frog lights there. And uh, yeah, it's working great. I've got a drop off station here and I've actually made it so that I have to be in my little AFK chamber in order for the cart to actually be going. Because it's one of those things with minecarts, if you unload the chunks while they're driving around, sometimes it causes some problems with them. So I decided to put that in, and we've got a bit of storage to bring this in. Now, I could put in the item sorter, could put in a shulker box loader. Not sure how that iron came in there, but um, yeah, there's, there's probably some upgrades I could do. But for now, this works, and I've already collected quite a bit of these frog lights, which I need to bring over to illuminate immediately and get on sale before... Anyone else does. I don't think Cub is open to shop or anything just yet to sell his. So yeah, we'll 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 race over there and do that. See if we can get some early sales on some frog lights. So I'm gonna collect what I've made so far from AFK. And yeah, it's been working great. I somehow lost a couple frogs though when I was AFK. I think I AFK'd for about five hours or so. And I've got a couple shulker boxes of each style of light. But yeah, missing a green frog and a brown frog. So I did have two of each. I think they actually did take a little bit of damage on the journey over. And for whatever reason, they might have taken a little bit more since. So I'm going to keep my eye on this. I don't want to lose every single one of these guys over time. But let me run the cart one more time before we go. And then I'll pack things up and we'll head back to Illuminate. Oh, jeez. Got him. Hi, what was that about? Hi, the, do you remember the dare stick from the beginning of the season at all? Oh yeah, that, that we put our heads on it, the spike thing. Uh -huh. Yeah, it it moves very slowly, and it's time for <gasps> you to be dared. Oh no! <laughs> I was wondering if ready? I'd regret this. What do you got for me? Right, so. This is going to be fun. Uh, you have to, because it's the 1.19 update, you have to silence three wardens oh, gosh. and hide them <laughs> in people's bases. You can do all three what? in one base, or you can spread it out among three bases. It's up to you. There's. I want to see a bit of creative oh, flair with this, you okay. know? That is um, mean. <laughs> this is going to kill somebody. <laughs> Probably me. Oh, man. It's, not, it's not a dare without a bit of danger. Okay, oh, I guess you're right. Oh, wow. Three wardens. Oh, my gosh. Okay, and they can be well, silenced, can you, not, you think? You can't spell danger without dare, can you? Am I right? De de it's, all the letters are yeah. in there. You're right. Yeah, they're all Big in brain. there. They're all in there. You can't, yeah, you can't spell danger without dare. Okay, cool. Oh. I like that. Right. Uh, I've got some name tags. Do you want some help with the warden? Uh, Yeah, then... probably need it if I'm going to have to get three of them. Jeez. <laughs> Yeah, I'll I'll help you silence them, and then um, then you're on your own. Do you know where Do you know where uh, ancient city is? I haven't actually done any 1.19 stuff in uh, Hermitcraft yet. Yes, yes, I traveled far north, and uh, I did locate one, so we can probably go use that. Don't tell anyone this was me. <laughs> They're gonna hate this. I'm blaming this all on you. What are you talking about? <sighs> Let's break the rules. Break what? No, <laughs> take it straight. Okay, I have a totem. It's fine. This is fine. <laughs> this is this is how you play Minecraft. You just uh -oh. dig straight down. I have never been hurt digging straight down, and I will keep digging down until I get hurt. Oh! Did it open up? Yet another successful digging straight down. Oh! Yeah. Okay. Woo! Yeah, there it is. Sweet. Um, so wait, we, we've we've definitely just arrived here with zero plan, which is the best kind of plan. But we have to get the wardens out, right? Yeah, yeah. But maybe if we just get a few like trapped and named, I can bring them out trapped? after. Yeah, okay. we'll put them in a little hole in the ground. As long as they're named, they won't despawn. So we can do that. I think okay. we can. Let's set up a bed somewhere down here before we set some of these off. I'm gonna take a totem. Yeah, take a totem or two. I'm going to put two, I think. This is going to be dangerous. Oh, actually, I brought some other stuff. We might be able to distract the warden if we do this right. Oh, I brought torches, too, because this place is way too dark. I also brought wool. Do you want wool? We, we don't, we, we're we not trying to avoid the wardens. That's we're true. trying to get the wardens, right? <laughs> I guess. And there's so many shriekers here that I'm like, ah, let's just go ahead. You just want to get one. Oh. Yeah, Simple you did. That. You did it. Yeah? You did it. I can't see. Put down some torches. <laughs> the, the torches aren't doing anything. Ooh, there's a chest. Ooh! Oh, two good stuff. notch apples! No way. Wait, are th these are notch apples, right? Is it is it shiny? Is it glittery? Shiny with purple writing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Ooh. it. 
Woo, that's a good find, man. Wow. Haha. I'll take that. Uh-oh. Oh, 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 oh. Here he is. There he is. I got him. He's he's done. I got him. I got him. He's name tagged. You name tagged him already? He's name tagged. Where is he? Yeah. Um, that's a really good question. He's a lot less threatening when he can't make noise. Oh yeah, he's already like stuck in here. Yeah. Uh oh, he's gonna zo sonic boom. Yep. Whoa. You all right? <laughs> he's definitely aggro on you. Oh! Oh, you oh. totemed. Wow. Get another one. You need another one? I need another one. I need another one. I need okay, another okay. one. Over here, over here. <laughs> There's something here. There's something here. Oh god. Ah. No, he got you again from that far. Holy cow. Wow. Okay. Right, he's 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 angry. He doesn't he doesn't like his new home. But no. um, okay, we got one. So now yeah, how do we get down. another? Let's go find another don't one. Don't we need Let's... to don't we need to get him out? Or he'll be. Right. I think he's just gonna stay in there. What's the deal? Yeah, he's he's gonna stay in there. We need to go about 32 blocks away to get another one though. Let's head over here. Yeah. There he is. Oh, there oh, okay. There he is. There he is. There he is. Okay, there you got the name tag. He's right here. Right here. Right here. I, over here doesn't help. I can't see oh, anything. The sound of my voice. He's coming after me. I, I can see. I can see the the indicator. Hello. <laughs> I see him. Right. I'm going in. Oh man. Got him. Oh, I may have used two name oh. tags, but we're all good. He's named. He's named. He's named. Okay. Okay. Now, should we get him to go over to our trap? Maybe. Oh, he's coming to me. He's coming. <laughs> he's coming to me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's on me! Okay. Where's the trap? Right. Where's the trap? Oh, he's charging! Oh, jeez! Oh, Come and follow right. my hole! How do we get him Come in? Come and follow my hole! No! Oh. <laughs> Wait, is he in? Come on. I didn't like Come that! I didn't like that at all! No! Come oh. on in! Get on in here! <sighs> Why would he go in there? <laughs> Fall in the hole, dude! Why isn't he going in the hole? Um... Silencing these guys first, maybe not the best idea. Yeah, because you don't hear him coming. He's, he's right behind you, Because I don't know way. where they are. He's right behind you. <laughs> Come to me. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Green. What? Look at him. He's harmless. <laughs> it worked. He just likes the piston. It worked. <laughs> he really likes this thing. <laughs> Look at him. Hi, friend. Oh man. Oh my gosh, so look at him! My... I'm right next to him! A lot of my stuff is in here. Oh, your pants are right here. <laughs> I just picked up a, your pants and a totem. Come stand next to him, let's take a picture. I love this. I love the fact he's just... He's just in love with the piston. Uh-huh. I want to go over and take uh, a picture with him. Can we do it safely? Yeah, I think so. We need better lighting than this. <laughs> Jeez! I got a picture. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> You're not oh. scary, are you? He's our new friend. He's great. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, we need to I get pick. one more? You said... I got a oh. pick. Oh, nice. Good. Okay. Shall we go for one more? All right. Number three. Let's go. Hello. Here we go. Let's trigger right here. Come Hello, on, buddy. Warden. Hello. Alan. Hello. <laughs> Anybody Come home? Come on out. Hey, buddy. Strike three. Come on. Breaking blocks. Marco. Make a noise. Marco. Come Hello. on. You got to be angry hey, about buddy. all this noise we're doing. Maybe we're, maybe we're too close still. Oh. Yeah, we must be too close. He should have been coming out by now. Let's find another one. Oh, nope. There he goes. Oh, no, there he is. There he is. Oh, he's right here. Okay, and he silenced, and that is my job complete. By impulse, it's hey, been wait. an absolute pleasure. You're uh, just gonna leave I, me here I with wish three you all the best with the dare. You let me know when it's done. <sighs> I can't wait to see what happens. All right. Okay, thanks. Looks like the piston thing worked at least. <laughs> oh, it worked. Okay, let's put him in a hole. Oh man. <laughs> oh, this is, dude. You know, people said there's no way to cheese the warden. Yeah. This is pretty there, cheesy. There's a way to cheese the warden. <laughs> yeah. You did it. <laughs> there he goes. Hey, that's so easy. He's done. He's ours now. All right. Well, I can't wait to see what these guys do to the rest of the server. Yeah. yeah it's going to be havoc for sure. Okay. Well, that was the easy part. I don't know how you're going to... I don't know if they... <laughs> I don't know how you're going to transport them, whether you can use a minecart or not. I don't think so. I think I'm going to have to do like water <laughs> streams. This is going to be tough. 
<laughs> yeah, I am so sorry. I'll be back to help you another time. Bye-bye right. now. Okay, thanks for the dare. Well, thanks a lot, Green. <laughs> Just leave me to deal with these guys. All right, well, next step, I suppose. I need to figure out how to get these guys out of here. And because we're so far out, I think I better take them through the nether if I want to get them back to the spawn area. So I think I'm going to set some things up. This is our holding cell. We're going to try to get three wardens chilling in here for now until we decide where to put them. And um, we'll be much closer to spawn. Okay, now's the fun part. I got to transfer all three of them pretty far across the nether. I think I'll do one at a time, though. All right, first things first. Let's go ahead and change him from silenced. There it is. To thing one. We've got thing one. We've got thing two. And we've got thing four, just to throw everybody off and think that there might be more. So, bop. Nope. Bop. There we go. Thing one. And now we got to let him out and have him actually follow us over through this portal. And then once we go through the portal, he's probably going to one hit kill us, isn't he? Okay, this is going to be terrifying. Here we go. If we let him out, I think uh, he's probably still just attracted to this. I don't want to turn this off first, though. All right, let's see what happens. Okay, you have a way out. Good for you. Yep, he's falling in love with the pistons. Okay, now when we get, take away his favorite toy... Yeah, sorry, buddy. I, t I took away your toy. Yeah, he's mad at me, I think. Okay, come on. Come on, buddy. Not around. Nope. This way. No, don't do that! Don't do that! Don't do that! Don't do that! I don't need you to shriek me or sonic boom me or any of that stuff. Oh, did he go through? He's up here somewhere, obviously. He blinded. Oh, there he is! Um, nope! Nope! Okay, I need to know where the torches are. The blindness effect needs to go away. I turned off the pulsing in the accessibility and that helped. Okay, so we actually need to lead him over this way is what we need. Okay, so he's still giving chase. Look at him. <laughs> he's so derpy. Look at him go. Uh-oh, he's gaining. It's gonna be a problem. Okay. Uh-oh, ah! Jeez, okay, that worked. Woo! Oh, he almost killed us at the end there, but that worked. Oh! Okay. Okay, yeah. Maybe we make two containers. Or maybe even three. All right, one warden down, two to go. We've got another cage set up, and I uh, got to do the whole journey once again. And hopefully we survive it. Okay, okay. Warden number two secured. Oh, uh-oh. Okay, I'll stay away. Okay, here comes. Yes, he's in. One two, three wardens. Well, now that we've got three wardens captured, I have to decide where they're gonna go. And I've been thinking about it. And one name came to mind right away. And that is somebody who just joined us for the season. And that is Etho. So I'm thinking um, thing number four, oh, which just made me go blind, is going to Etho's base. I picked him because he's, I think Etho's off that way and he's closest. So. I need to uh, do some portal magic. I want to get a portal set up up here that's going to transfer him down into where Etho's staying, which I believe is the basement of B-Dub's tower. So I'm going to go over there and do some scouting and see where thing number four is going to end up. So I believe hidden underneath B-Dub's base, we have a secret passageway into Etho's area, which is in here. And yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll just hide the warden behind this wall here so that when Etho comes in here to uh, look for stuff, I think this is probably his stuff. Oh, he's actually doing quite well. Uh, he'll get some blindness out of nowhere and he won't know what's going on. So let's see if we can just, I got it. Let's do this. Let's take a picture of this so that I can remember exactly how it went so he doesn't notice any difference there. And then I think we can just put a portal back here and we will store the warden right behind this wall. In fact, if he's within 15 blocks of Etho, he might try to shoot him, which means this entire room is going to be a bit deadly, which is perfect. All right, at the moment, I think he's still a little distracted by our noise machine, so we should be able to sneak up on him without him trying to blast us. And then we'll just set him free, turn off his noise machine, and hopefully he will come after us. Let's see. Uh, we'll just open it up right here, I suppose. And he'll want to get a little closer to the machine. And once we turn it off, then he'll probably want to get a little closer to to me. 
But um, that's absolutely fine. Let's go. Okay, and the trapdoor is still the way too. Come on, let me get it. Okay. Got it. Okay. There we go. I don't know where he is though. Oh, the guy. Oh, he's close. Oh gosh, no, no. I, I didn't panic. I didn't panic. Oh gosh. Hopefully he goes up. Oh, oh, blasted me again, but he went through the portal. Perfect. All right, moment of truth. Did he make it to the other side? He should be just behind there. Yep, there he is. Can he blast us from here? Perfect, so he, he fell down. Oh no, he's already made it dark. I need to get down in there and place these blocks. All right, we just have two blocks to place without dying. Can we do it? Here we go. I just need you to go pop, pop, pop. Okay, thank you, bye. Okay, okay. We should be good. We should be good. He's hidden behind the wall. And when Etho comes down in here, he's going to get blindness and probably blasted. Sorry, Etho. Green made me do it. All right, my second victim has been chosen, and it is going to be Corrales, who is doing amazing things out here, actually just north of where our mega base is. And look at this. This is definitely mega. Look at the size of this ship. It is enormous and all sorts of things going on. And it feels to me like the perfect spot for a warden to be hiding would be in this little hole right here. So I've got another portal set up. I got one matched on the nether ceiling and it's time to release thing number two. All right, I'm gonna be a little smarter this time. He is still intrigued by this piston device. So I'm gonna come in and break him out before I actually break the sound machine there. And in fact, let's just give him plenty of room to come on out. Oh, okay, he's on to us. <laughs> I think he's on to us. Is he coming? Nope. <laughs> he's just gone out and is still just enamored by his toy here. Let's see. Can we uh, can we get in and break this without him uh, trying to kill us? The second this is gone, he's probably not going to be happy. All right. Here he comes. Here he comes. Uh oh, what's down there? Okay, he's on to us. I need to get some distance. Ah, jeez, I did it again. Oh no, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. <laughs> did he go? Please tell me he went through the portal. Every time he does that, it scares me, and I hit all the keys on my keyboard. All right, moment of truth. Did the warden make it to this side? He should just be down there in the pit. Yes, there he is. Amazing. Just wandering around. Now, what I want to do actually is disable this portal. So that when Corrales does come back, he goes through his normal portal there and then gets the blindness effect without knowing what's going on. So I set up a little water dispenser inside the ship. This is going to be fairly dangerous still. Also, I'm hoping the warden doesn't try to kill these turtles that are just kind of chilling in here. All right. So there's a button right there that I need to press. So let's see if we can do this. Jeez. No. Okay. 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 All right, warden number two has been delivered. All right, our third and final target resides here, and this is Scar's new base. And we found a perfect spot for a warden up in the tower there. You can see we got a portal put in there already, and I need to go back to the nether and um, bring them on through. I'm hoping you get a little glimpse of the warden through these little windows here. And the best part is I don't think Scar is going to discover it right away. Because I don't think he's going to actually get blindness until he's up, like, on the roof. So it may take him a little bit of time to discover it. And um, I'll tell you this. I'm really looking forward to all these hermits' reactions when they discover there's wardens in their base. All right. Final warden. Come on out. Come on out. There he comes. There he comes. And take away his toy. And now he's not going to be happy with me. Come on in. Come on in. And uh, through the thing and out. A little blast, but I'm okay. And he's in. All right, there's the tower. Now the question is, if we peek through the window, oh, there he is. What is he mad about? Uh-oh, he's mad about something. I see him like poking through. Oh, is he after the wandering trader down there? I would think he'd be far enough away. Oh, this is fantastic. Scar's gonna be walking around and out of the corner of his eye, just see a warden up in the tower. Amazing. Well, that's the dare stick challenge done, I would say. Three wardens in three different bases. And like I said, I am excited to see how the hermits react. So keep your guys, keep your eyes out. Check out Etho's episode. Hopefully uh, he'll discover his warden soon. Same with Corrales and Scar, which you can see him kind of poking through the corner up there already so gonna be very interesting to see how they react to this but yeah i'd say that's the dare stick challenge done and that means i'm gonna have to pass it on to somebody else next 
So let me know what you guys have for ideas on what we could do to dare another hermit and move that stick on to the next one. Anyway, that's going to do it for me today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you do that before you go. With that said, I'll see you again next time. Have a good one, everyone.